Today, you're going to wire buttons to your Raspberry Pi and use Python to make a sound machine. <laughs> to make this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi, a breadboard, some buttons, and some male-to-male -male and male-to-female jumper cables. A Raspberry Pi has 26 GPIO pins. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output. These pins allow you to send and receive on-off signals to and from electronic components like LEDs, motors and buttons. Each pin has a number and there are additional pins that provide 3.3 volts, 5 volts and ground connections. A pin diagram or labeler like this one helps you to know which pin is which. Buttons give you control over a circuit and let you send signals to a computer, like the keys on your keyboard. Before wiring your circuit, switch off your Raspberry Pi. Place one of your buttons onto your breadboard like this. Make sure you push the legs as far down into the holes as you can. Next, Connect a ground pin on the Raspberry Pi to the negative rail on the breadboard using a male to female jumper wire. Then, connect the negative rail to the button with a male to male jumper wire. Now, connect the other leg of your button to GPIO pin 17 using another male to female jumper wire. You've now created an electrical circuit. It has power and a pathway to conduct the electric current. In your circuit, the current flows from the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pin through the circuit to the ground pin. Your button acts as a switch that can break the circuit. When the switch is open, no current can flow. When the switch is closed, the current flows from negative to positive through the completed circuit. Which way does the current flow in your circuit? Early scientists believed that current flowed from positive to negative. They called this conventional current. We now know that current actually flows in the opposite direction, from negative to positive. But we still use the term conventional current, which can be confusing when you're new to electronics. What we can agree on is that electronics is all about controlling electric current to make it do something useful. That's the hardware complete. Now for the software. We're going to use a Python programming environment, or IDE. Create a new project by clicking New. Set up your button by typing from GPIO0 import button. Then create a variable, btn equals button, open parentheses, 17, close parentheses. Next, Define a function that will print the word hello. Def hello, open parentheses, close parentheses, colon. Print, open parentheses, quote, hello, quote, close parentheses. And finally, create a trigger that calls the function. btn dot when underscore pressed equals hello and save it as music box. When you run your program, the message hello should appear each time the button is pressed. Now let's add some sound. Create a directory called music box in your home directory and save the sound files you want to use in here. They need to be WAV file type for them to work. I'm going to use some existing sound effects from Python games on the Raspberry Pi. To play a sound file with Python, Import the Pygame module and initialize it. Import Pygame, pygame.init, open parentheses, close parentheses. Next, create a sound object and provide it with the path to your file. Beat1 equals pygame.mixer.sound, open parentheses, apostrophe, the path to your file, dot wav, apostrophe, close parentheses. Finally, 
inside the hello function, underneath your print statement, type beat one dot play, open parentheses, close parentheses, to play the sound. Now, when you press your button, you'll hear the sound play. Go ahead and add more sounds and buttons in the same way. You might like to change the text in your print statements to something more useful, like when the button is pressed. I've also named my functions after the color of the buttons to make it easier to find them in my program. Def, red, open parentheses, close parentheses, colon, print, open parentheses, quote, red button pressed, quote, close parentheses, beat one dot play, open parentheses, close parentheses. Now that you know how to connect a button to do something, what will you make next? Share your ideas in the comments below. <laughs> I didn't realise until like last year that when people were talking about Anchorman, it wasn't like a fishing trawlerman. Because <laughs> we don't call them um, no, TV no, anchors. No.